Alright, so now we're diving into the priest. I have very, very, very limited training with the priest. Very limited uh, expertise, you might say. Really, no expertise. But... Somewhere in your life, you went wrong, and now you're watching me teach you how to play a very addictive card game. It's, it, it's okay. I'm here with you. So, Priest, obviously, huge thing is your heal. Um, save that. So, these uh, do something when, when you give them overheal. You summon a 2-2 two -two crystal. Overheal is healing for anything the character does not need. I am about to find out if I can do it off the jump. And healing it if it's full or if it actually has to be hurt. Hmm. Well, that's rough, isn't it? What is in Lily's room? you friends but priest you definitely want to maintain board control it's it's kind of like a mix of paladin and mage because yes you do have a lot of spells on all we have are spells right now <clears throat> but you also do want to try and keep board control if you can get them to play again if you can get them to play something like deadly shot or just a big target spell like if i were to play Shadow Word Death already, destroy a minion with five or more attack, then that's burning a really good card that you really should save for later on. So if you can make them do that, that's always good. I wonder. It's going to be okay. And we're gonna sit there. We do have board control and a taunt. <clears throat> That we can heal uh, should we should we choose so i am pretty much gonna have to just pull this yeah. Use it for the hell of it. There was no rhyme or reason for that, by the way. There was no reason for me to heal myself when I was already full right now. I believe that would have counted as overheal for the geodes and such, but he uh, destroyed that. Okay, spending an arcane shot on a one damage. I'll actually accept that. <laughs> ah, that's why. We have another one of those. Don't give your thoughts to yourself. Mm, I probably don't have any beasts, but I will get that out there for again the hell of it. So if you have extra mana as a priest, always, always remember the heal. It's probably one of the most useful hero powers, aside from the probably the Death Knight. The Death Knight probably has the most. Being able to summon a 1-1 one -one with Taunt, that's awesome. <clears throat>
Obviously, you go away. Not really getting lucky on the card draw here, which that is unfortunately something you have to learn. <clears throat> uh, having card draw can help with that. You know, you keep rolling the dice, eventually you're going to roll a 20, you know? Alright, so that was a huge play for him. Just that. Not just that. I can't do a damn thing. <clears throat> what is Elaine's rule? Just gonna heal back up to max. Just keep burning. It's a very, very bad start, and it's been his poor draw since the beginning. Three hunter secrets on the board. Finally, something to play. he top decked that which would be uh the typical hearthstone luck the enemy you're playing is always having the best game of their life that's one thing to take away about hearthstone in general but yet it's so addicting so now this, the Holy Nova is looking a little bit more viable. Uh, what do you do? In each turn? Yeah. That's a good change of pace. So... One of these is going to definitely do two damage to everything when I attack uh, the Hunter's Trap. 100%. That's probably the most popular Hunter secret. And it's a great secret. I believe we actually used it in the uh, Hunter Crash Course video. Okay, so he's got a mech. In his hand, I mean. We know that. Each minion. So that'll do it to mine, too. Now the Holy Nova, though.
Take another Holy Nova, yeah. We can take it. Forgot that's gonna you'd be the hunter's chair. Oh! It wasn't. This, this has been a lifesaver. Back in the day, you didn't just get legendaries from doing, um, say, certain missions or just for reaching certain levels with heroes. Uh, it, they were they were a thing back in the day. Like you were, it, it was nuts to see two or three in a deck, and now that's pretty normal. So nothing else to do with that. I mean. Guess I'll take another one of those. Does this hurt? Well, we've got him in card lock. And then we can just keep overhealing this. I should have just overhealed it there. Now he's got another secret that he top decked. That's probably going to be the Hunter's Trap. No, he would have played it faster. You always want to be predictive, if you can be. You can give you more health. Should have hit first. Yep, it's gonna do the thing. Yeah, I wasted that one, but it's okay. Yeah, we're pretty much done here. He's got one more secret, and that was probably a minion he just pulled, given how far we are into the game. Okay. That does suck. However, I'm probably just going to do the Holy Nova because that's going to be all he has. <clears throat> and if we shut that, that down again, and I think we have one more Holy Nova because this was a copy. And he has lethal on board. But he, uh, he can also do two damage every turn, which I've had simply that heal me. Obviously, he can go away. Copy a card in his deck. Let's give it a shot. Don't give your thoughts to yourself. Summon a random beast. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Does this hurt? That was the last secret, and we do have lethal on board. Staying alive by the skin of our teeth with the healing. Which is the probably number one thing about the priests. It's just they refuse to die. Which is awesome. I mean, it's really not, not a bad class to play. He does have another secret, but I don't think that's going to save his life. Well played. Does this hurt? It's a trap. Oh. Oh, wow. That was good on him. Don't give your thoughts to yourself. I thought it was going to be the hunter's trap. That was foolish of me. I sh always attack with your lower minion first. Okay, now well played. Well played. The priest can outlast everything. Every time. 
Even if it's only with 5 health remaining. You see, I'm only level 22, so these, all the cards in, in this deck are not hard to obtain at all. Now, some of my other core decks, like the Paladin, uh, the Warrior, they're a little bit more advanced, but not too much. It's just a couple cards that are honestly different. The playstyle of the core stays pretty similar all the way up. So, yeah, I would like a... I would like one more low cost card. Or that. Or that. Oh, that cost you five health? Why? Room two, two? Brother. Why? I'll take a copy of that. Oh! Okay. So he's going to be a tree ant guy. I don't like that. Hey, I got you, friend. If he chooses not to take this out, I'm definitely giving it the soul of the forest, but he's going to. Come on, share. Board control. I only have the one, but... You have two, two. You know? Board control. I would like to get at least one other minion out before I play the Soul of the Forest. Yeah, he's just gonna pop Treants. I actually don't want to play this yet because they are just going to kill it. So I have nothing else right now, so I'm just going to make that summon a 2 2 tree in to match his. A Holy Nova here would be wonderful. Or that that I can't play yet. Come on, share. Come on, share. Come on, share. Honestly gonna chill right now. He's just gonna destroy this. I mean it can serve as kind of a board clear it'll take two out but this thing's gonna summon another two two but next turn i can light bomb and if he leaves this one one which i think he's going to then i'll walk away with a two two that should be ready to attack uh it won't kill that though 
So I'll probably do that first. And then just sacrifice the 2-2. Two -two to fully clear the whole board. He did leave with one two two tree in, which is a huge improvement. Again, we're just not getting the card draw right now, but we have enough card draw to stay alive and to just keep clearing his stuff out. Luckily, hopefully, we'll get another another holy nova would be nice, or a holy nova at all, or some more minions we can play. It's a very good turn for him. So this is this is potentially a problem. Wow. Very nice. So what we were doing there is typically a good strategy. Um just bleeding their cards is very good, but it just didn't work out for us there unfortunately I mean we can take one out with this thing that's really all we can hope for How many fingers do we see? take this to our face and even then it's not going to take the full one out he's going to use a 4-4 on it I think he's got us here buffing these guys when I just don't have the way to deal with it because okay the best attack you can be... Now, this is more against a mage than playing for... Or a, uh, against a priest than playing for the priest. Four attack is the best thing you can be because their... Four attack, four health is perfect against a priest because there's spells that do three damage, which we've seen, and then the shadow word death that destroys a minion with five or more attack. So none of these meet the criteria for that. And I've already used my other ones. The um, the three damage bolt. I forget what it's called. Yeah, sure. Brilliant. I think he's got us there, actually. Yeah, he does. All right, let's get some better card draw with this next one. I want to go against the Death Knight, but we'll see how bad it goes. See, where's this thing been? I haven't seen this once. I'm going to buff the shit out of each other. Or I'm going to just super buff this thing. Blessings to you. So, this turn two, probably. What's he got? Okay. Probably not that turn two. Well, yeah, probably that. How many fingers do you see? He's gonna take it out with this. No, he's not. This is tempting. But I know I need to save it. Okay, I have two. So... 
and that will count as overheal. Now we play this for sure next turn, and it'll start buffing that. Giving it plus one, plus one every time we keep overhealing and just play this thing as long as we can. Okay, there's a taunt. That's not awesome. it buffed that. I don't know which one he's going to want to get rid of more. Kind of a strange choice, but I respect it. can't pop both. That would be foolish. So he's going to target this thing regardless. I was going to say regardless, but never mind. Just gonna sit here and tank this for a minute and then got two really big dragons to play. Soon. Handle it. Leave bones, please. Okay, he's playing a lot of his hand here. Which typically means he's kind of blocking in on this strategy, at least for the moment. But Death Knights are never afraid for their minions to die. Yeah, give me, give me one of your cards. What you got? Cool. That doesn't help me. At all. And that would only take out two of them. Get the rest down low, but... What is in Loon's room? Yeah, he's banked pretty hard on this, so... At least now one of one of these can die to this. Probably, hopefully this guy. <clears throat> Rise and serve your king. Mm, what a top deck. See? Should have saved the Holy Nova. Always save the Holy Nova. If you're not learning from me, at least learn from my mistakes. That's the new theme of these videos. I'm gonna suck really badly, and you just don't do what I did. What I do. Yes. Sometimes you get lucky and people sacrifice the wrong minions.
Okay, so obviously we need to get stuff out of here. So I think a spell. Hey, I'll I'll make that trade, I think. It's gonna kill this. So that's all he's got. Now we just have to stay alive. Which is always easier said than done. But yeah, that's not great. He's got two of those dicking about in there. A lot of crates. Hopefully this saves our life. Why? Okay. Yeah. I want to see what these are. Oh my god. Oh, that gives us lethal. No, it doesn't. No! I can't math. It's okay, we've got this guy chilling. There's no way he can save himself from this. Well played. It would be a priest that takes down a death knight. That checks out. I don't beat death knights, by the way, ever. They are a, a weakness for me. And this core priest set at level 23 just took one down. Granted, he had a misplayer too, but take that to mean what you will. <laughs> 